what's on the docket today. Sir, welcome to my store. Browse away. Let's give your javelin a once over. Part of Rage Seasonal. We'll have a audio commentary from my daughters playing their games in the background. If we take Irish here with us, if he wants to get in, uh, Irish Strangulero. He is a Masterwork Ranger currently. Not sure if he's got a different guy on deck in the Forge. Hey Iris, you said you were muted. Um, are you going to be on mic at all for the match? I sent the invites out, but I'm not sure if he's going to take it. Let's see what I got going on here. This should be output. Oh, So right here I got this ultimate speed mark of wrath, but I just feel like those are so rare, double ultimate. 
speed, it double reach anything. So really. <coughs> I go glitchy. I have a storm with fire. If you guys want something else on the field, I can provide that. I'll say rock wherever you want to rock. Uh. Irish, I can get you another invite. Yeah. I'll copy that. Alright, looks like we're good. Just get your javelins ready if you need sigils. You need any more moments for that? Thank you Godspeed, thank you Robo, thank you Irish. I am doing a short demonstration stream for this build, so at the end of this match or whatever I'll cut the stream, but just so you're aware if it matters to you at all, I can turn the voices off, but we are being recorded what we say. My voice is shared yep. through the chat, so no Dr. Trump. Appreciate that. I don't mind your guys' voices being shared. I just say that out of courtesy. Some people don't want their voices recorded or want to watch what they say. That's fine. I'm just trying to be formal about it. I'm, I'm just letting you know. That's all. Right, right. If you see that, Irish, that's just kind of how we communicate. We try to stay up front with each other. Appreciate that, Robo. <sighs> no problem. No problem. Weeks we got going on here in the builds, got inversions with uh, close encounters, lightning rod, close range kills, chain lightning, uh, shotguns and machine pistols deal increased damage. Ah, the shotgun acid slugs build would be very nice. <sighs> That'd be good in seasonal to try out. Uh, for demonstration, this is ultimate damage, uh, some of the components are double ultimate damage rolls, some of them are ultimate damage and weapon damage, ultimate damage and repair amount, uh, yeah, ultimate speed. Uh, storm components, it's a uh, pupil, token of the pupil, and uh, mark of wrath, that just happens to be the ultimate speeds, uh, double roll on the storm mark of wrath. Uh, enjoy the show. Uh, content wise, so the seasonal run, this is a Thor, uh, Heart of Rage, they may go for like high points or whatever, we're just going to go with it, um, however we run it, speed run or high points, it don't matter to me, I uh, just kind of read the room, see what they're doing, and follow suit. Do you know how to do the note trails or things of that nature or no? Hmm? Okay, Do Dr. Trimble? Doc? Can anybody hear me? Okay. Yeah. Please wait, wait. I know. Time. I can start it.
ウェイトウェイトウェイトウェイトウェイトウェイトウェイトウェイトウェイトウェイトウェイトウェイトウェイトウェイトウェイトウェイトウェイトウェイトウェイトウェイトウェイトウェイトウェイトウェイトウェイト <laughs> Lead Godspeed if he doesn't have to. I've okay, never seen Robo take go. charge. Can I go? Godspeed. Yeah. Lock and load. Copy that. Cool catchphrase Godspeed's got there. Truly. Puzzle can wait. We can get it later. Note strings we get later. That's normal. I can pick up Irish unless somebody else is closer. You're in a. You're in a Grandmaster three. You're in Grandmaster three. With the masterwork, yeah. Just uh, take cover as much as you can. We're going straight for objects. We're not doing damage on enemies. You're gonna feel the full force of the enemy right now. Uh, we're getting secret objects, which means we're not doing damage. So now we're gonna start fighting the targeted enemy. That's our secret boss we pulled out. The guy with the crosshair. We're targeting him. Kill him first, and then everyone. Oh yeah, yeah. We're at seven right now. Yes, we're at seven right now. Thank you, Robo. I got him, I got him. That's alright, Irish. Eight, eight, eight. Alright, now we deal. Thank you. Pretty difficult to dodge a lot. Not as nimble as the other ones. Might use cover if you can. Just only my broadcast isn't gonna work. Let's see here. Hey Irish, you see where I'm at? Uh. If you need it, Irish, I'm on your six. There's a mountain ridge behind me. A cover over there. You're on the opposite side. So half of the puzzles are over here on the behind me. I use this ridge for the uh, cover it gives you. This is the third gravity. Copy. Copy that, Godspeed. Please pass for the lobby. Number one, yes. Love you, Daddy. Love you. Oh. That's me hugging my daughter. Are we missing the first? No, we got it. What type of question is that? Uh, stay away from the green orbs. I see you're close to one Irish, but we'll try not to pick those up. Yeah, we get him last. So when we get to the boss, we're not gonna head towards him. And when you fight the turret, like for the example right now, try not to get real close to the turret. You just go past it. A lot of the stuff will fly past it. Uh, try not to get the orbs as best as possible, you fly up. 
You had to return to your team. So right now we would get these pressure plates. Pulls out the mini dude, kill him, and then kill the boss. We got number three, that means we got number two here. Yep. That's number two. Okay. Copy that. Alright, so Irish, we're on track for like a really fast speed run. Depending on the order that things are done, it makes it a high score run. You see the next notes, the next balls we got in front of us, we don't touch them at all. Alright, so we just keep that pattern in the game. ロックブロークロックロックブロークうんまず I thought for a second it was a command or he was saying something for us, but then I thought Roku, which is a media device, so I'm not sure. Correct echo. Oh, he already did this. Tell us the squick echoes, I believe. Looking to see right now. Yeah, he already did this. You Irish, don't sweat it. Don't sweat the small stuff. Use cover. Treat it like uh, Division Two. Not sure if you played that. Yeah, use it like cover. Like, if it's not a flying character, you don't need to worry about flight cover. Your ranger, you can do flight. If you get extra damage, weak point in flight, or, or lower your thrusters in flight, anything like that, use it. Otherwise, oh. if you want to stay on ground, use cover like Division Two for now. You get the legendary items that are higher up, 75s, 80s. It'll buff your power level to take a little bit more. It'll be more spongy. Pull the sponge. Uh, one second, man. Throwing my ultimate right now.
what do they call it? Triple threat? That's it. She's a dancer. She's a singer. That's it. She doesn't cook yet. I can cook. <laughs> and she cooks. She's a triple threat. Be a triple threat if you want. I can microwave mac and cheese and pizza and my own oatmeal. I can make mac and cheese too. I get shot at. Has to help turn on the stove. Thank you. You know about the gravit king that pops out to kill him. Stick with us near this area. Don't go all the way to the bottom. This next spot that we're going to. See that gravit's on the wall over here? Come here, Irish. Yep, come here. Yep, I think you went too far, buddy. Uh, we don't go for that far down. This gives us a Gravit King. We're gonna lose this Robo if we don't kill it. You have a, an ultimate? No! I don't have ultimate. I use it on Furies. Yeah. No. He, he went forward. Irish went forward. Godspeed. No, it's the uh, boundaries is flying towards a certain spot. Don't correct the line. Stick on the line. Copy. We can go right now. We can go right. Matter of fact, I go back. I go back. I go. You got damage though, right, Robo? Um, yeah, but we should. We gotta get second line too. So don't worry about it. Godspeed got it. Godspeed got enough damage. See? You got no speed. You want me to do it? I got speed. I, mean, I go on with you. I gotta go with you. I get first, second line. Alright. Go first line, go second line. Go, 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 hey. go, go, collect, collect. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Don't go to the asset room. Don't go. Is that underground, Dad? What, honey? Is that where you on the ground? Was that on the ground? Yeah, I go on the ground. He's the ground. Okay. I mean under. I go asset the room. No, no, no. Wait. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait. Second wait, wait, line. Wait. Second line. Second line. I understand. I saw third line. Do we need first line? Yes. Where the puzzle is? Yes. So we need second line and third line, buddy. We need all lines. <laughs> That's Titan room and the last line taken. Boxes, huh? That's the acid room, huh? Get the second line, Rubble, behind me. Yeah, I got second, third, and fourth. Copy. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you 
know what? I also opted out of doing the um the puzzle. What the puzzle not done either? No one did it in the beginning of the game. You're supposed to send down Irish. Send send out Irish next time we do the puzzle. Okay. Yeah, all three of us were in the first area. Okay, I got it, I got it. Uh oh. I think we overdid it here. Yeah, I don't even have my second or third hit. So Irish, you see all these uh, spiders that are elementals right now? You can use those to build up your ultimate for the next room. Otherwise, uh, you just leave. There's no purpose to stay here. I think that's as much as you're gonna get. Unless we die, you revive us. This purple orb is a. Uh... Yeah, your ultimate. That purple we leave to the end after the boss dies, someone grabs it. Not bad, not bad. Slight hiccup, but <laughs> Robo and Godspeed with the recover. Jesus. I couldn't have recovered those points on my own. Definitely. Good job, Alright, so we're gonna, gonna run it back this time, Godspeed. Um, you can do the same thing. So listen, the first first event, while I'm setting up, while I'm setting, me and Dr. Trimble are setting up, Irish, you gotta do the puzzle, okay? Do you yeah, have a, a javelin that you want to upgrade more than another one, Irish? Do you like the ranger? Cool. So while you're using ranger, learn this puzzle. We'll get you upgraded. The crystals you got right now, if you go to Fort Tarsus, you can actually upgrade your components. If that's what you want to do, we can give you time for it. If you want to do that later, that's fine. We'll get you more crystals. I'm going to switch my javelin. I'll go uh, interceptor, throw out a target beacon. I'll be faster, I'll get some resistance. Does that sound good? I don't mind being storm. I know Godspeed can cover damage. No. I don't want to use the voice of courage just because uh, I could use the ultimate to pick up somebody or uh, target beacon helps everyone. I don't like people being risen with half health. Irish, have you ever had an interceptor help you with their gear support? If you die, your gear support will pick up a teammate with an interceptor. Leave that to the wind there. Um, we got four builds here.
Did you want to spend any time in the crystals? Or are you good? Uh, some of these crystal groups, when we're in lobbies and we go from match to match, might seem a little high-paced. Um, so sometimes we have to take a moment to let everyone recoup, bathroom or drinks or whatever, just trying to make sure everybody's settled in. I think Irish might be doing something. I'm taking a look at my interceptor builds at the moment. But just in general, uh, most matches are a little bit slower paced unless you're solo. And these seasonal runs can get pretty high paced. When people get locked into a build, they'll go from uh, match to match with little downtime. It could bring uh, <laughs> attitudes of impatience if you guys uh, go from group to group. You might notice people are not used to it. So I got a couple of separate builds here. I can throw up a couple of them looking like they're high like raw damage, not much priming and detonating. One survivable build, uh, like a gimmick armor build. Melee and resistance, I believe. Not melee, ultimate speed. Alright, this will be where I sit. So I'll throw acid and fire. I'll do some combos. On ending battle, I have to remember to use machine pistol uh, when you're like a dash away. Alright guys, so no worries, it's kind of a hurry up and wait situation. Irish is on the cutting board here. He's uh, chopping some stuff up in his javelin. Let's see what he got when he's done, and then we'll get on. Um, Irish, are you familiar with the puzzle at all in the Heart of Rage? Are you familiar with the matching game? Okay, so are you familiar with the grade school level matching game with cards where you flip over the card and match it with a second card? So you have three rows of tiles, and in those three rows you probably have six columns, and you're going to match those tiles when you flip them over to match together. That's the puzzle. You think you can handle that? you got to flip them over, and they'll f you, know, you get them wrong, they'll flip back over. This is a memory game. Sound easy? No. You'll do the puzzle. I'll be pushing the first event mini boss so we can kill him at the multiplier count. So I'll be near you just for the multipliers I pick up, and then I shoot over to the first event. We'll even pull you forward when you get the puzzle done into the Titan room. Uh, you just gotta let us know if you're close and you're not finished. Lobo teach you how to how to fighting stranger stranger robot teach how to fighting 
Ho Edish. When we teach him what? Ranger? Godspeed said Robo is the ranger teacher. Could teach him how to fight. How to oh, fight. Okay. What you get? He's using you a ranger. Robo's, uh, Irish. Robo teacher. Irish? What do you have on your ranger? Yes. Yeah, but what you what do you have currently equipped? What do you have? Okay, here it is. Let me just let me just go back there. Let me hold on. Let me let me switch to my Cetrus or Ranger and see. I tell you that. All right. Do you have Do you have Rodner's Blaze? It's the gun that shoots the fire out. You have that gun? Okay. Do you have a gun called Vast of Surprise? Vasus Surprise V A S S A apostrophe S Vasus Surprise. We might have to go way back, Robo, to Crystal Store, see if he can upgrade his components. Robo is the legend. If not, I'm okay, not sure all right. Trained up. All right, tell, tell, tell me this. Tell me this. What do you mm -hmm. have for components? What do you have for your ranger components? Your ranger specific components. What do you have for that? Tipper Spear is a good one. The tip of the spear. Last argument is a good one. Let's see what you got here. Okay, so with your current build, you want to be focusing on, let's see here, look at this again. And you have Vanguard's Brand Park. Okay, so what you want to be doing is with this current build you got going on right now is you want to be doing your L1 R1 to give you more grenades okay and you're supposed to be priming everything with your R1 so pretty much you're spamming R1 for the most part of this whole game and then once you got enough enemies primed that's grouped up you're gonna chuck, chuck a grenade with them with L1 okay you got that Irish? Okay. You're going to throw the grenade after you prime enough enemies with R1. So you're going to hit R, you're going to be spamming R1. Okay? You're spamming R1 all day. And when you see a group of enemies together with that red circle dot on their head, which means that you primed them. You're going to chuck a grenade at them. It's going to make them all explode. Okay? That's what you're doing. That's your main mission. And you're, and you're going to hit L1R1, which is your support, to give you more grenades. Now, what's critical about 
you detonating combos with L1 is the fact that when you detonate a combo with L1, tip of the spear become active and it will heal you. Do you follow what I'm saying to you? If you read tip of the spear, it says that if you activate a combo, you will heal your nearby allies. It really works for you too. So when you are priming with R1, when you hit somebody with a grenade that got a red dot above their head, not only are you going to hurt the enemies and enemies around it, but you're going to heal yourself. Are you following? Am I talking too fast? Okay, go to components and go to tip of the tip of the spear. I think he needs to take a stop at that shop real quick. Robo might need to help him. Yeah, you can do that too. Store. But I want him to look at tip of the spear first, so he can see what I'm talking about. You see it? All right, you said increase damage by 50 percent. So, huh? I'm skipping. Okay. Can you can can you hear me now? Okay. Tip of the spear says increase impact combo damage by 60 percent. That means that when you detonate a combo. Your combo damage is going to be increased by 60%. That's good, but the second part is crucial. When you perform that combo, it's going to restore your armor by 40%. So it's going to keep you alive. Are you following what I'm saying to you? Am I still cutting up, Irish? Yeah, it was cutting earlier. It sounds good right now. Now, your main combos for yourself is going to be R1, which is the three acid spike darts, right? That comes out. You want to prime enemies. And when the enemies are prime, you want to know because it's going to have a red circle dot above their head. Once you get enough enemies primed, you're going to hit your L1 grenade. And you want to aim that. You want to aim your cursor to at their feet because it has a trajectory on the grenade. Okay? All right. When that combo hits, it's going to hit that enemy and enemies around it, depending on how big is your blast damage. I'm not sure about that. But the best critical part is that it's going to heal you 40% of your armor back. That's how you're going to stay alive. So just practice with that, then we come back to it. But we're... Uh, Robo, hold on. You're cutting right now. Hold that Robo's thought. Robo's cutting out. Well, yeah, I, I got this. Once, yeah. one second, I got this. I got this. I got this. Yeah, I can hear you. <sighs> All right. So with light, the news here. I'm gonna go more. Um, of the melee heavy damage builds I have because these ones actually do a lot more priming and I don't worry about um, snagging combos. It leaves a lot of primes on the field that are a waste. I don't get combo aura effect in the build itself but honestly in the inscriptions I'm not looking for that. So the sigils will change for me. But you see it's physical damage, melee damage. There is combo or effect in there. Um, I'd probably have to find some detonator or them comboing off my primes to give the or effect. Uh, double melee damage. That one actually can get switched up as well. I didn't realize this. Just another moment, guys. We're going to do another run here. Hanging out with us. Thank you for watching.
I'm looking at the interceptor stuff I was gonna run while they're he's doing a ranger, Robo's on his Colossus, we got Godspeed on the interceptor as well. I'm not sure if he's staying interceptor. Support recharge. I can hear you. Irish? He didn't respond yet. Yeah. Hey, Robo. In your interceptor experience, you have more fun with Vengeance Matrix or your way of integration? I've been I've been working this vengeance matrix, but the inscriptions are crap, and the way of integrations had they both of them have better inscriptions on them. I'd have to go vengeance matrix with shield delay instead of a uh, is it shield delay? I don't think it's shield delay. No, I'd have to go vengeance matrix in a masterwork. Oh, he left the party. It has ultimate speed on a masterwork. Resupply drop rate. So that's what I did. I went up to 80 from a good 75. And I'm sacrificing bad inscriptions. And then I have the wave integration sitting here, which is also on a couple other builds. So that's good to hear. Like, I have builds that work with Vengeance Matrix. Because I made other builds that work with wave integration. I'm like, wait, does do I need to remake it or something? They, they both work. Yeah, I end up having like five, on most builds I end up having five universal and then one uh, javelin specific component. I don't really go all universal for whatever reason. Uh, he left the party. Oh, the yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't even think uh, he was on the chat to ask, but I did hear him in the party chat earlier. Who, me? Corey, you ready to go in a match? Godspeed said he's inviting you. But yeah, sure, why not? Since we got five in the party chat, who's the fifth? Oh, it's you twice? Okay, gotcha. No worries. Uh, I'm not really 
this year. I don't know Iris that well. No worries. No, it might have threw us off um, in the beginning of the match. Like, who knows? Maybe it was like me being formal, saying this is the way we talk to each other, and then Godspeed asking you to take lead instead of just playing. Who knows? We never know. I could read into it, but I'm just like hypersensitive on feelings, so I'm not trying to read into it. I'm a dad. Got dad mode. <laughs> I'm turning dad mode off. I got dad mode on summer. Uh, I could send him a message later though and, and give him a suggestion on a build and see if he falls anywhere near that after crystals. I think that was the issue. Is he's going to have to go to the crystal store, buy some components, come back when he's got a build set up when he's looked at it a little bit. Otherwise we just carry him. I don't really carry either way. Uh, Core, what are you bringing? I got an interceptor on deck. Um, I'm bringing a uh, fire acid ranger. Ah, uh, ranger, interceptor, colossus. I'll go storm again. I'm okay with that. Hold on. Bring your old flight double out. Last delay here. We should get get us going. Is that acid storm? Huh? Let's go without the acid. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Girls walk in and walk out. Alrighty. Hi, bye. Stream. There was some comments and we could catch up on that. Godspeed, hello, freelancer friend. Pride Rise, hello, arigato. Thank you, Godspeed. Ray up, commenting, tell him, Robo. Yeah, we're talking about uh, the Ranger. Sup, freelancer again with Ray up with the wings. Haha, -ha, 2020. Thank you guys. Appreciate you hanging out and saying hi. to stop the stream and then start it back up just because it's a demonstration.